Welcome back everyone to Stormflame 27's Courageous Acts of Minecraft. This is Season 1, Episode 6, and today I'm going to be exploring this cave some more because this cave is really cool. And I meant to explore it between episodes, but I decided, nah, I'm just going to explore this cave while on camera so you can see all the cool kind of like structural things in it. I don't know, I just thought it was pretty cool. Um, let me just turn off, my auto jump keeps turning on, I don't like auto jump, I think it's pathetic. But yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be exploring this cave. Definitely getting more resources. There's a creeper who wants to kill me. I don't want to go through diamond defense again like in episode one. That was crazy. Okay, cool. Um, actually, let me pick this up. Since I will be most likely getting a lot of resources, I'm going to need to smelt them all. Especially, so I'm going to pick up that coal. Thank you, creeper, for all that. Hello, spider. Okay. Come on, die. Okay, there we go. Let me just snipe this up. Okay, this is a cool place. No, creeper, don't! And he did it. So, I, I got a pretty full inventory, so I might even... I have enough wood. I can make some chests, so I might make a little base back there. Actually, let me get these coordinates real quick. Let me just jump hop on over here. So, I'm probably going to start maybe a little temporary base here. I already got just some chests in here, so I'm just going to throw unnecessary items um, keep all that I throw out you and you I don't need that many shovels okay let me just get these coordinates okay cool okay so now I'll go back to exploring okay look at that already got them. I am hoping to find loads more of, of gold and iron because I'm still, I'm still heading for, still heading for this on the rails. We, we need one, one thousand. What, what, what we need one thousand blocks, so we need around three hundred iron, I think it was, and that is a, a skeleton. I hate, I hate skeletons. New update. They're like already hard to kill, and I was like, like getting good at killing them it took me forever, like years to get good at killing skeletons. So I, I, I just figured out the trick. That with a skeleton, let's say this torch was a skeleton standing, they wouldn't move when they shot. So you just come on, come around, you'd hit, and then you just circle them so they miss when they shot. But now in the new update, they made that impossible pretty much because they just circle around you as well. So you can't circle around them because they're circling around you already. So unless you like go the opposite way that they're circling, but then they always turn towards you. So skeletons are just ridiculously overpowered now in Minecraft. I guess it adds a bit more twist of uh, more twist of difficulty to the game. Still would rather have them back to the old update because fighting a skeleton is difficult, really difficult in the newer updates. So rather go back to the older updates and fight them because like skeletons, they're not even that. They don't give you that much re um, stuff. Anyways, you kill a skeleton, you get some bones. Okay, maybe you can get some dogs. If you find dogs, so that's like you have to have find more. You can't just grab the bones. Like they're good for bone meal if you're like hardcore bone, I guess. But and you need to grow your food fast. But why just fighting a skeleton in hardcore mode? So to me, skeletons were already hard enough to kill. Now they made them harder. So skeletons, it's too overpowered, way too overpowered. But so I think okay, this is a cool cave. Not much to it actually. So I think I might kind of just skip past this cave. I'm just going to go run around, grab some iron. Once I have enough iron, I'm going to need like six stacks of iron, I think. Then I'll, I'll see you back when I'm probably smelting it all. Um, and then and then we can start the on the rails achievement. Oh, yeah. All right, welcome back. And here I am in my house again. As you can see, the cave was disappointing. I was in there, and it was really tiny like it was smaller than i thought like all the end all the tunnels that like you could see everywhere they really just like turned once and it led to a dead end so i, I didn't get too much i got in all from the entire cave i got a bit bit of gold bit of iron i don't think that's enough for the on the rails achievement but anyway anyhow i'm still gonna smelt it all i did grab some coal. I was like the only thing. It's like a coal mine, more likely. There's a lot of coal in there. 
So it, it has its own uses. And there's monsters everywhere. And okay, it's almost eight. But what I'm going to do during the day is I feel as well as running past the house is it's not lit up at all. And there's monsters like creepers and skeletons all over. And I was like, I'm not going to go by there because they're going to blow it up. So I'm just going to light that up. But I need my coal. There we go. So let's see, it's eight for every stack. So that puts this at nine because it's a little over half a stack. And the rest I'll just throw in there. But I have a lot of furnaces, so I'm just going to do this. That one would be three. I'm just going to do four, make these even numbers. So I'm going to go like this and like this and like this. And four. So this will cook fast. There we go. And then with these, I'm going to separate this into eight parts, just like that. And then, just like that. And then I, I did get a bow from a skeleton, so I have a bit more protection now than I did before. So I just get the smelt in. Okay, well, actually, it's kind of useful that there's wood in there, but goodbye, wood. I'll use you for other things. I still have these three, and then, let's see, can these split up to eight? Okay. There we go. Okay, so I need a couple more furnaces if we can get them. We can't, so. There we go. There we go. There we go, and there we go. And there we go. And since these are going to be put in here anyways, mine as well. And we're missing. Well, I'll just throw them in. Actually, since these have a little bit more coal in each of them than they need, I'm just going to fill them up like this. There we go. Now let's see how much. 19, not bad. We need like 51 more. It's not that much, I guess, if I went in a cave's lot. Don't like that pressure plate at all. Like, this pressure plate's just annoying. My point. Okay, so now let me just grab. How much wood do I have? Eh. Wait, actually, I think I have a lot. No, I don't. Well, bummer. I'm just going to go grab some wood. Do not blow up, creeper. There we go. He's going to follow me. And there we go. No, don't, don't blow up. Don't put a hole around my house. I do not like holes in my lawn. And he put a hole in my lawn. Oh, what a, what a, what a nuisance that creeper was. I, I was like, back off, man, creeper. Back off. And he's just like, no, I'm just going to be like a st stupid and blow up your lawn. Wow, what a jerk. What a jerk that creeper was. He, he didn't even care about the quality of my lawn. He just had, had to blow it up. You know, creeper, this, this is why we can't have nice things. Because we got creepers like you running around. And stuff like this happens. Uh, well, I'll fix this hole later, permanently later. For now, that'll do. But now... Don't think this is enough at all. I'm gonna make as many minecarts as possible. Or not minecarts. I was gonna say if I made minecarts, that'd be a waste of iron. Uh rails. Cart rails. There we um now let's start with this. See how much I can make. Okay. Nope. Oh, okay. I almost thought I wouldn't make it through the door. Okay, nice. Look at all these experience I'm getting. Oh yeah, that's right, because I did have a lot of experience before, and I died a lot, and I lost it all, but now I'm back to 15. Cool. I'm going to try to preserve that number so that I can level up, because I, I can still make an enchantment table, but I'm not going to do that. I'll say, alright, no, I'm not going to do it until I get enough bookshelves, but for now... Just like this, like that, 
like that, like that, and like that. Okay, so this is not enough. We need 1,000 of them. We're going to be going one kilometer on rails. So, for now, I'm just going to go and I'm going to start from the village. And from the village on, I'm just going to start placing them to my unfinished house, which you can barely see. And probably going to tear down that one. Probably just like, I don't know. But I'm just going to start making some rails. I can't make a mine cart tier because if I had a mine, mine cart, I'd be able to ride it all the way back. But this this is going to be a slow for now, like riding one mile, a thousand blocks without gold rails is going to be slow. So for now, I'm just going to stick with the slow ones because we need I need the well, we need the gold for the other ones for the notch apple. So. Just gonna start placing these down. All right, as you, I'm back, and as you can see, I've made up from the start of the village all the way back to this hill so I've almost made it to my house it's just like really really close but I'm out of iron like completely so that's gonna have to do for now kinda looks cool I'll eventually build an underground um, subway so it's gonna be like all gold rails all powered gold rails and it's gonna be like some downstairs down there and it's just gonna go all the way to the village underneath ground it's gonna be awesome so I'm probably going to make it out of like quartz or something. And then like some like uh, lights, like glow not glowstone, redstone lamps. Add like a cool like effect of lighting. So there we go. And I'll still use some here. Okay, cool. So now, now I should just, now I got to go light on my house. So I started the on the rails. Happy about that, and but now I'm gonna start continue continuing this this house because made some progress, a lot of progress. So last episode I kind of took a break from this, but I'm not didn't forget it, never forgot it, and I will continue it now. So first step of the continuation process of the house of glory, I'm just gonna be putting a second. So, like, nothing could jump inside. So, I'm just going to put it like this so no creatures can get inside. And then I'm going to be lighting up with torches inside. And then, yeah, so I'm going to try to finish just the layer of wood. I'm not going to be able to finish with the wood I have, but I'll just get some more. Still have yet to find a birch forest. So, that was terrifying. Okay, but cool. So it's gonna be building this and almost out of wood, but it, it'll, it'll look amazing when I'm finished. It'll look just truly amazing. And let's not fall off here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight. Okay, cool. So like, it just looks really sweet. I just think it looks awesome. I need to put dirt there. But no, it just looks amazing. Like, nice view and everything. Let me just light this place up fast. There we go. Probably just use all my torches just to make sure. There we go. That's cool. That's good. That's good. That's good. Let's get a light around. There we go. That's a cool dynamic lighting effect, I guess. It's, the torch light can't reach the side of the building. But if anything, at least on that side, ow! No, zombie. Villager zombie. Die. Cool. I do not want you at all. Okay, let me go to bed. 
All right. So let me just let me just run. Where's the wood at? Run and grab some more wood, and then I will be resuming the continuation process of the House of Glory. All right, I'm back. Um, I, as you can see, I did. I, I get. I got some more wood. Um, I was able to only get stack and a half. About pretty sad, yeah. But uh, my oh, I do have more iron. No, but it's sad. My my axe broke. My axe had like way less than all. It's almost broken. And so after twenty something pieces of wood, it just kind of like that and died. And it was it was sad. So then I I had to walk all the way back. And I walk all the way back, cause I out of food completely. Not the terrible thing. Okay, so let me just don't. Okay, I'm just gonna use my iron for this waste of iron. I know, but I'm not gonna use my hard-earned wood to cook some meat. So let me just throw all of this on. Throw it on the grill, cause I love grilled pork chopped, even though it's cooked pork chopped. Um, grilled pork chop is good. Very good. Like maybe a little teriyaki sauce marinade. Mmm, sounds delicious. But no, I just get a little, eh, plain, plain old cooked pork chop from the nice old furnace. It's like ancient. But no, I'm, I'm going to be starting, or resuming, the continuation process of the House of Glory. So let me just get this. I might even just work on the courtyard. Cause like finish off this layer, cause I don't. Cause like working on the house, I'm just gonna get like the first layer down, then the rest of it I'll just probably build off camera. But what I'm saying is, with this, like doing this is not very, like, not much. I'm just building the first level just to like show what it's gonna be like, and then, and I'm probably gonna work on the courtyard. Courtyard is gonna be pretty interesting and cool to build. The um, the rest of the layers of the house. That go all the way up are just gonna look just just gonna look with what I'm building now. Except for the fact that there's only gonna be a courtyard on the bottom level. The rest of the stories are just gonna have really open rooms. Maybe rooms divided and stuff. But this is what each level is gonna look like. Um, pretty much. I might make it so that above this level right here is just gonna be all glass, like a giant glass building. Maybe. But uh, I just do wood. Okay, so this is the first level, and then I'll be working on the courtyard. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. Just checking something. So get out of here, Ping. No, you're not welcome. Ooh, look at that. Or okay, I would never do that in real life. Eat raw pork chop, but yeah. But yeah, that's good. In, in in this game, raw pork chop apparently doesn't give you parasites and stuff like that. Because I literally killed a pig, sliced it open, took its meat, and ate it. I feel like I got like a parasite inside of me now. Just got like a parasite. Like, yeah, I don't know. This is the courtyard. Courtyard's gonna look like this. Just maybe add some benches actually. First things first, you gotta add the decoration. And I can make a bucket. So first, I'm just gonna add. I'm gonna. Should I make an obsidian fountain? Like, they don't have obsidian half slabs, which is. Which is a bummer. I wish they had obsidian half slabs. Should I make. I'm really tempted to make an obsidian. Um, I'm not actually. Well, I was. I had a thought to make an obsidian half slab, a uh, obsidian um, fountain, which would look really cool. Except for, I need half slabs. So, half slabs. And let me just grab some more birch wood because I on my way back. Um. Notice that there's a few birch trees. There we go. 
So this, the, the House of Glory, I think I'm just going to officially name it that. This, this is the House of Glory. Just, period, explanation point. Or, yeah, explanation point. Just, that's it, House of Glory, explanation point. That's all you have to say. So if someone is just like, what is that? You just, House of Glory. And, and that's it, just, just the House of Glory. Nothing fancy, just a giant five-story, like, mansion. So let me find the center of this thing. Well, I actually found it. So this is the center. This way. And voila. This is very center. So two, three, four. It's gonna make a mess, but one, two. This is oh, I messed up the whole thing. Get out of here. Water is so touchy in this game. Okay, there we go. Uh, I can't place the right thing. Half slab. Half slab. Half slab. Anyways. I need a crafting table in here anyways. And half slab. Okay. Now we got... This is, this is not going to be what the fountain looks like. I just need the water to be contained. Actually, it doesn't look bad. Actually, it looks kind of good. Except for I just need one thing. I know I got some, I think. No, I didn't. Uh-oh. Well, if I didn't get some, I'm getting some now. Are there any trees? And that is plenty. Okay, before it's night and creatures come and kill me and destroy my house and everything terrible like that, I am going to finish up this fountain. So one, two, three. One, two. There we go. Fountain of awesomeness. And actually, it doesn't look bad. I want to try... Adding, eh, what if, I wonder, I was just, let me just dig that out, just like that, and then, I don't know what I think about that, this is really interesting design, like, I actually like that, I'm, I'm sticking with that. So this breaks, break you, break you, add a stair, add this, and then we need half slabs. That should be good. And then the half slabs go around like that. Okay, so now we got a, I'm usually not too good with designing fountains, and to some people this might look terrible. But for me, this is actually one of the best fountains I've ever come up with. Right. There we go. Just needs a little bit more. There we go. And I like it. I like it a lot. That, that is one sweet fountain. This was Stormflake 27's Courageous Axe on Minecraft Season 1 Episode 6. I yeah, hope you enjoy. If you enjoy, please hit that like button, subscribe for videos, and I'll see you all next time.